In this video, we will continue our shopping cart from the last video. Now, in column in card screen here, let's add a size box with the height screen of 20 to give us some space. Then I will add a list view builder to show the list of card items. And to use the list view in a column, you should grab it with a size box, container, or an expanded widget. So let's use an expanded widget and by using expanded it means that give the card widget the space it needs and get me the rest of the space left in the column. It's a like take what you need and give me the rest of it. And using it is better than a container or a size box because it's dynamically changing from a device to another or a screen to another. And using expanded is better than size box or a container because it is responsive and changing from device to another. But if you use a container or size box, you are stuck with a certain size. And if the screen goes bigger, you're just taking this size and the rest of screen is empty. In the list view, let's add the item count, which is our the length of our items map. And then item builder. And we'll return a card item widget and we will create it now. So here in the widget folder, let's add a new dart file and call it a card item and in there we are creating a stateless widget called card item tile and importing the material app now let's returning a card instead of container and let's give this card a symmetric margin and the child is a list tile and our list tile having a leading and a title and a subtitle and of course a trailing List style to show title and quantity and the total price. Also, let's add a delete button. So let's add this info to our list style here. The leading is going to be the price of one item. And the subtitle is a column which has the quantity and the price multiplied by the quantity or the total price. And the trailing is going to be the delete icon. So let's fix these errors quickly and let's add a provider package and see what the error here are. Now we need to get these values here, price and title and the quantity and to define a remove item function in the card file here. So first let's start with the price. Let's get this value when the constructor create a new card item widget every time. So here we are adding a final ID and title and product ID and price and the quantity is an integer. Now a cool trick, if you have a final variables here, you can just add them to our constructor by pressing option and enter and adding these final values to our constructor with one click and instead of writing it. Now we can use our card item tile widget here in our card screen. So let's return a card item tile and telling him about this class and of course it requires a five variables so we need to add them and quickly we'll just add an id and a title and a price and the quantity now we have an error here telling us that data can be now and it is already now because if we go here to our card we have an entity map so how to solve this now we have an error that this data is scanned now and that's because this items is a map not a list so we will need to get a list of, so we will need to get a list of just the values of this map because it's here it's a map containing a key and an item and we need only a list of a card item to do this we hear telling flutter that we are interested in just the values not the keys let's add a value here and turning it to a list to fix this error and copy this and paste it here everywhere what we are missing here oh we need a product id okay to get the product id we are just taking this card items to keys because we are here the product id of this card list is our key in the map here this is our product id of card screen not the product's id okay so we are interesting in just the keys and to list fixes error index we are interesting in to list now error solved Let's hot reload and check if everything is working or not. It's empty now and if we add a Samsung and a Nokia, if we go here, we have a Samsung and Nokia and the total price. If we pack 
and go here we still have them and if we add another Nokia we are having two Nokia with two thousand dollars and the total is here and we can order now because it's this not working and the lid is not working so to make it work let's uncomment this line and go to, to card file here to define a new function remove item which take the product id and removing from our map items this key or the value of this key because remove taking a key of a map and don't forget to notify our listeners and let's hot reload now we adding an iphone it's now working and adding two nokias let's deleting the iphone now we have only the nokia nice oh one more thing if you are looking here to this line it's just an ordinary connection or establishing a connection to our provider or card provider but what is this argument here or what is this listen to false if we delete this provider.off here it's by default listen to our provider here which means you are using this provider and anything happening to the data relating to this line or in case here it's listening so any change happens to our current file or card class which i mean any part of card provider here using unnotified listeners it's rebuild the screen but what about if i don't want to listen to changes just one time when i rebuild or start the application it getting to that after that i don't want to listen to any change so you use a listen to false because it's a true by default so here in the card item if we just delete the listen to false if we hot reload the application and start using this delete button you're gonna to have an error it's telling you to set it to false because you are not interested on changing the context or the screen now it's working in short using listen to false means that the provider is not listening to changes at all now everything should be work fine without any issues okay that's great now we have a grid view of items and a card items now we need to make this order now working oh by the way every part or every video will find a separate code for each video so you can understand the code and use it in your project if you want and for that please don't be shy just like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye